Okay students, here's your next big programming challenge. Your assignment is to program in C++ a password generator. Let's talk a little bit about passwords just for a second. Good strong passwords are passwords that have at least seven characters in them. So the program you're going to create is going to be designed to create passwords that are seven characters or longer. But you also don't want your characters, or excuse me, your passwords to be too long because if they're longer than say 14 characters, they're a little hard to remember. So you're going to make p passwords that are between 7 and 14 characters long. Also you're going to create passwords that contain these uh, following types of characters. They're going to have uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols because good strong passwords have all of those things in them. Alright, let's go take a look at our program that I've uh, created here. Now I'm not going to necessarily show you the code. We're going to talk through the program and how you might create it. I'm going to show you the form designer here, but not the code, because I want you to figure out how to do it yourself. Again, everything you learned in the previous assignment, learning about uh, how to translate uh, ASCII or numbers into ASCII characters, will help you figure out how to do this program. Okay, here we have our form designer view. As it says, uh, as, it, as you see here, it has simple directions and a label. Passwords must be at least seven characters and no more than 14 characters long. Uh, here's uh, a label that just prompts the user to select a password length. Here we have another one of those numeric up-down controls. As you see here, you can um, control the maximum and minimum number that should be allowed to be selected from that control. Then we have a button, and of course that button is what will uh, cause the program to begin running so all our code will be attached to that button and when we generate a new password it should be displayed in this text box down here okay all right so let's think uh, let's go ahead and just run the program for a second we'll build it and debug it and here's the program running now oops okay so our program uh, allows us to choose a number between 7 and 14. As you can see, I cannot go lower than 7 and I cannot go higher than 14. So let's say I want a password that's 10 characters long and I click Generate Password and sure enough, I get a series of both numbers, letters, upper and lowercase letters, and a bunch of symbols together. And these are essentially just random passwords. Okay, And every time I click here, it changes that password. I can go down as low as seven characters long and I get a slightly shorter password, etc. I can go up to 14. Okay, that's really all your program needs to do. Okay, of course you'll have a menu strip up here that when you click on it, it will exit the program. Okay, so again, we're not going to take a look at the code, but let's talk a little bit about some things you need to do. Um, in the previous assignment, we only generated one ASCII character at a time. But here you need to generate anywhere from 7 to 14 ASCII characters one after another and then put them all together in a longer string of characters. So while the WCAR function we learned about earlier creates only one character at a time, if you run that uh, function over and over again, changing it each time, and storing that character in a longer string, slowly building up that string, you can eventually get the longer password that you want. So um, you're going to have to use different types of variables, character variables as well as string variables. You're also probably going to have to have some kind of repetition structure that allows you to continue looping or repeating the code over and over again the correct number of times until you have the correct length to your password. Okay, so you're going to need some kind of loop in there as well. And then, as you see here, um, you're going to output or display your finished password to a text box. In a previous lesson, we learned how to uh, get something out of a text box, but putting something into it is slightly different. I've got a little slide here that shows us a little bit about that. If you're displaying a string in a text box, um, you could simply name uh, state the name of that particular text box. If you didn't change the name, it's probably text box one. And then you say that you want to uh, look at its text property. Okay, So you use the forward arrow symbol, text, 
and you give it a value, you assign it the value of, well, in this case, password. Okay, and that will display the password in the text box, text property. Okay, and again, if you're uh, taking a character, for example, if you have a string, a managed string called password, and a character data type or, or variable called my car, my care, uh, for a character value. If you want to store that character in an ever-growing longer password variable, you could do something like this. The new password is assigned the value of the current password plus the new character. Okay, And you could add characters to strings in that way. Okay, I think I've given you enough hints on how you might do this. I'd like you to use a lot of creativity, create a, um, an interesting password generator, um, and allow it to be uh, no less than seven characters long and no greater than 14, and uh, be creative in your solution to this problem. Look forward to seeing what you come up with.